So this whole area where you see black was uh, cocoon grass. Only cocoon. And it truly went up in flames, even these trees. Wildfire really close to our house. Just keep watering. All the workers are trying to set it out, put it out. It's so dry. Is that. That's why we cleared all the bushes around the house, just in case this happened. All the leaves that are burning now, this is from the Lumboy trees. This is super dangerous. Luckily we have long uh, water hoses there and a lot of water stored so if it gets closer to the house we're able to put it off at least. That's too dangerous for the boys to get in, but we're gonna try to somehow block it here. Conditions completely dry for how many weeks and now the wind. How many meter line do we have now? 200. 200. We need longer. Additional 50. Yeah. Or 55. I can hear the uh, fire trucks coming in now, but it's pretty well contained at the moment. I can hear the fire trucks above us. I assume they're coming here.
Just checked our tanks. Luckily we just bought this one, still full. This one is maybe half, so we only used about a thousand liter so far. But I told the guys to uh, stop using it because we just have to have uh, enough water on standby in case it spreads out again. So the fire has died down and the fire guys Shout out to them, they came quickly. That was quite impressive. And um, yeah, they were assessing the scene and now I flew, I flew the drone over to show them where it started. Uh, so they didn't have to walk all the way, it's really far. So I just showed them and they can actually drive to there. And as you can see maybe in the video, the source allegedly is from that small house there so the uh, fire department they actually uh, are going to visit that house so. so just in case guys it's been talking about it all year December January was the driest I've had in the Philippines so far and we're just getting into summertime now it's getting really hot here Literally the first week when it's hot, boom. Yesterday there was also a big wildfire uh, by the highway. And uh, these same guys were putting that out. I think no one got hurt there, I hope so. I can't say anything, I don't know. But uh, the source or where we think it started is very close to that small house there. So I don't think any other I don't think any house burned there in the hill because that whole area was just grass, cocoon grass and it was just crazy scary imagine we were, I was in the house and you could see flames rising high as the uh, coconut trees now our area around the house is pretty well cleaned so uh, there's no piles of uh, grass or dead bushes that's all been cleared around the house however on on uh, this side of the house uh, I, I instructed my guys to uh, after lunch they start clearing that any dry grass any dry bush because the wind if it starts there then it will go because the wind is this direction right and uh, if the fire starts there it will go straight over the house so after lunch it's clear to some degree but you know seeing how high these flames reach we're gonna do um, another one and then we have two more guys coming in later that are gonna start trimming some of the uh, trees <sighs> this was scary guys Because when I was in the house, you see how high the flame reached. But uh, once we went all out and we went closer to it, it was still about 250 meters away from the house. So, uh, yeah. If you don't clear, take care of the land, it will just become extremely flammable. I'll show you here. This is my grass right now, it's pretty dead, uh, but you don't see any piles of or bushes that is uh, extremely flammable, so you know, this is okay. Wherever it's stacked up in piles, that's obviously going to be high risk. What's the plan? The plan is to cut now these things, clean it, clear it. So we just hired two guys, actually our neighbor, uh, our friendly neighbors, uh, they are Filipino New Yorkers. They uh, came here, so the blue truck, they guided the uh, fire truck up here. We actually uh, certainly called them when we, um, the fire was going on and then they called the 
fire department. And then he is now, he sent some of his staff to uh, come here and get rid of all of these bushes here that are completely dry. And this is the hottest day for sure of 2024 right here. It is melting. But now we're gonna go check at the, where the fire was. That's where the guy stopped it. The boys did an amazing job. Still some smoke. something still crackling over there. Let's talk to uh, Ellen who's there. You bring water? Yeah. Where is it still burning? I can hear it crackling. Yeah, crackling. Yeah, like, like it's burning. Oh. Down there. There's actually still fire there. I see it. So this whole area where you see black was uh, cocoon grass. Only cocoon. And it truly went up in flames. Even these trees here, these are lumbo trees. And uh, they basically survive any heat during summertime. But you can see them now, they're pretty much burned out. Zoom into that tree over there. area as well Whew. that's the part I was worried about if, it, if this area continues along this ridge it will lead up to our house I didn't see this on the drone before but it reached here that's why the, the guys are really putting it off that's good The guys are already clearing and uh, I was just thinking about what happened earlier because the first thing I told the guys is to remove all the cucumber out of the side of the house because I just remember now when I saw the flame I thought there was no chance to put it down but <laughs> then we, uh, the guy said oh, we can go try you know put it out okay let's do that and then uh, we stopped they they stopped moving the cucumber and they went to fight the fire so what's happening now is we uh, got the two guys from our neighbor that are working on clearing all of this bush material and my workers are now moving all the cucumber I'll show you so the reason I want to get the cucumber out of the way right away is that when we saw the flame for here, I thought it was already on this side, but it wasn't. And if it was, catching uh, huge piles here of cucumber, not good. So from there to here. How are you after today? 
Oh, I was so stressed. I got stressed, by the way. Yeah. I think everybody would be, not yeah. just you. Yeah. That happens to anyone. So true. For me, a fire like that is like, it's go back my childhood memories because I grew up in a sweater area and there's a lot of fires there. You know, I experienced see a that. lot of those fires. Even now, like three days ago, there's a fire in my near my in my in our house. Like it makes me stress. Like, oof, that's scary. And then I now I read a lot of um, news. There's a lot of fire. You know, like now like what happened today is it makes me super scared. Like really. And earlier before the sunset. Uh, someone nearby knows, like doing a fire, like you know. It's all man-made. Yeah, it's like that was so scary. <laughs> now, now the reason why one of the reason also why we have a swimming pool. Well, well, first before that, I, sorry, I I left because I said, come on, after all day fighting this bloody fire, it's getting dark now, and. Not necessarily a neighbor, but still uh, considerably close. Yeah. So me and Brian, I said, Brian, let's go talk to this guy. Yeah. What is he thinking after today? Like, is there nothing going up there? And so I, I went to them, by the way. Yeah, thank you for so much for that. And, uh, you know, I just approach him. Hey, uh, why are you setting a fire here in the night? You know, can you please do it at least in daytime? And um, he said, oh, there's no more wind. Okay. But do you know what happened today? We were, there's over one hectare at least burned area really close to us. Did you not see the fire department come to you guys? Talk to you. No, they said they, they, they were not there in the house. Uh, they must have stopped in another house then. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, you know, I just asked him, hey, um, I don't want, like, we are pretty safe here. We have the water and, you know, we can always defend it off here around the house. But these guys, you know, they, they have wood, some of them have wood houses. Yeah. And they're putting fire on uh, next to the houses. So I'm just saying, hey, guys, be, please be careful. No problem with, you know. Uh, I was so scared. I was shouting like, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> like after the day, why? <laughs> no, the... I was trying to go out and to see the sunset, like at least to ease, you know, like to, to calm down my mind. And then, <laughs> then boom, see I'd another just, one. Like, Good thing of fire. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> what are these guys thinking? <laughs> it, even, you know, what's the crazy part about that? What? It's starting to get into sea, a summer. So yeah. there's no rain for months coming up. So yeah. why do it now? We're so eagerly to finish the swimming pool now so that we can put a lot of water in there. Yeah, we're, um, I'm, I'm going to buy a big pump like we have on the boat, which is uh, like a bilge pump, which means they can pump out very, I mean, a lot of water very fast. So that's going to be our backup system and in case anything comes close to the house. Oh, well, it's a chicken shop to buy that hose, like what the fire, yeah. the fire truck has. Exactly. Mm. The best thing to do is, is to prepare your land. So, uh, like we're, I mean, we've done it around our property, but now we're also doing it further out. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't even reach our property. So yeah, wow, what a day, what experience. No, it's always so scared my love. Shout out to our workers. Yeah, my goodness. Wow, how they can breathe okay. in that smoke. I walked into that smoke, not even in the white smoke, just close to it. Mm -hmm. And I got dizzy, I got headache, uh, hard time breathing. But these guys are just, they're, they're so tough. like they've done this before you know yeah so shout out to the workers you know amazing job and uh, our neighbors 
uh, that came on the uh, truck. They guided the uh, fire department. Oh, shout out to them as well. They came incredibly quickly compared to our location. Yeah, because because I called the uh, the fire department and actually I found the cell phone number in Facebook. When I called them and I told them like, guys, you need to come here now because it's really getting strong. Like the wind is quite strong. Yeah, that that's the thing. I th I think this would have been no problem if there wasn't this crazy wind as well. Yeah. That's one advantage we have here is that it's always wind one direction on the side, mm -hmm. the left side, and then the other way, the right side. So we can always prepare for that as well. Um, as also for me, it's a um, blessing in disguise, you know, because we learn a lot of things about yeah. this experience now, and we're going to be more prepared. And yeah. Then I talked to more neighbors and they're also saying this is the driest they've yeah. ever experienced. No one is doing crops. No one can plant anything. Yeah, it's just, if there's good thing we have, we have water here. So, yeah. I mean, I, I don't understand why someone would be doing this now, you know, I mean, I, allegedly, we don't know for sure, but, Maybe. but we've seen many others. Yeah, but, but like this fire that happened today near us, we don't know anything about it. Yeah. So we, but it's 99% um, maybe, you know, it could have been actually they're super hot today. So we should not blame anyone for this, but. Prevention is better than cure. But so many other places we've seen around. Yeah, I mean, now, like, before sunset happened, I was <laughs> yeah, really exactly. shocked. Like, I'm in my, my binocular thing. <laughs> like, I'm observing, I'm becoming, I'm like, wow, what's going on? Like, I literally, I'm in a, I'm in a part, like, you know, like, the feeling, like, oh, my goodness, oh, my God. I like, was just laughing, but I was just, what are they thinking? You know, there's not going to be any rain for months. <laughs> Why not? Come on, come on. Anyways, mm -hmm. but tonight we will do a night shift. Yeah. So uh, I will be waking up and Brian will be waking up a few times tonight just to check if there's something still, you know, there could always be some, mm -hmm. some still flames in the wood or something, you know, you never know. Thor, come here. Go, 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 Thor, go, come here. Mm. What was that? Go, 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 go. Mm. Okay, have a good night, guys. Night. <laughs> yep, I love you too. Good I night. love this boy so much. Mm.